This is a quick reaction video. It is a direct response to Mergle's video of the same name. In case you didn't know, I published a video about a method to grind gold from Rogue Class Trials just a few days ago. There's a link in the description below if you haven't seen it. And this method yields between 16k to 20k an hour in gold. The video subsequently did quite well in terms of views and seemed to be quite popular as I got a lot of subscriptions off the back of it. And then Mergul, another Warcraft YouTuber, released a video entitled Wow Economy Breaking Exploit Would Not Recommend. Now, Mergul's video cited the method without crediting a source, but it was fairly clear to everyone he was talking about the method I'd published. Mergul's argument was essentially that the gold supply would be negatively affected by an infusion of gold, and that Blizzard would be forced to take action to prevent this, and would ban accounts. It is important for the sake of balance to look at what Mergul actually said, rather than what I'm paraphrasing, so I'll link to his video below. Now, I felt that a lot of people actually dealt with Mergul's criticism quite effectively on his own video, but I have noticed an influx of comments on my channel from people who use the method, and are now concerned about their own accounts. I'll address that point clearly now for people who are concerned. It is very unlikely you will lose your account for using this method. I have released over a hundred videos most of them concerning some type of exploit, and it is extremely rare for anyone to ever get banned using any of the methods I publish. When it comes to class trial exploits, I've released several already, and there has not been a single report of a ban from anyone using them. So it doesn't seem likely to me that Blizzard would take action over this particular exploit. Now, without knowing the minds of whoever decides these things at Blizzard, it is impossible to completely rule anything out. But there is no historical precedent for banning people for using this type of technique. Even when Blizzard do ban people, unless the violation of terms and conditions is very extreme, such as crushing the world server, it works on a sliding scale. So your first ban would only be three hours. These get more lengthy with each further ban, but for a first time offender it is mainly of symbolic value. One of the videos I published previously allowed you to boost pets to level 25 instantly, which could subsequently be sold on the open market, and this play was worth around 75,000 gold per hour, much more than in the rogue class trial exploit. If gold per hour were the sole criteria, then surely people would have been banned for that, but they were not. Now, Mergul's argument was actually that because of the excess raw gold created by the, ro the, by the rogue class trial exploit, this would have an inflationary effect. This is an interesting argument, uh, and it's coherent and logical. Uh, however, nine months ago I released an exploit with similar raw gold making potential. Uh, some of you just might remember that it was a way to directly monetize time walking badges during the WoW anniversary event. And that didn't have any inflationary effect on the economy at all, and again no one was banned. I think ultimately the issue comes down to the fact that only so many people watch gold making videos, and even the most powerful gold making methods have very little impact on the economy relative to the total population of Warcraft players. Most players do not watch YouTube videos, of those that do, many will not use the methods for various reasons, and I've noticed a surprisingly large number of players who watch this channel aren't actually subscribed to the game. Mergul's estimate of 2 billion gold being added to the economy is probably an overestimate for those reasons, but even if it isn't, it would amount to no more than a few percentage points relative to the global Warcraft economy and would be insignificant compared to natural fluctuations in the economy. If you want to know more about how and why Blizzard banned people, then I'd suggest you look at my video, Can I Get Banned for Using This Exploit? which you'll also find a link to in the description. I'd just like to finish up by saying I've got nothing against Mogul personally, he seems like a very decent human being, 
and he's been very successful in a short space of time on YouTube. I actually watch a lot of his material and his personal memoir is extremely moving. I made this video mainly just to reassure people about the whole ban issue. So there's the video. Thanks for watching. This has been Arch Fowler.